Welcome to another episode of the Open Vehicle Sketchpad Tutorials. My name is Brandon Leatherland of the NASA Langley Aeronautics Systems Analysis Branch. In this episode we're going to discuss the Geometry Browser and how it helps you visualize your model. I'd like to begin by using a 337 model that I've used in a previous video. And just for demonstration purposes, I've loosely placed in some seats inside the fuselage. Now for example, say we want to maintain this aspect ratio for a publication so that all of the images have the same view. But what we're trying to focus on is the seat grouping. Well right now the wing and these spars are all in the way, and even to an extent, the fuselage itself. So first off, if we just want to hide the wing, we select the wing and click No Show, and that hides the wing from view in the workspace. If we further say that we want to get these spars out of the way, why can, we can either come in and hide the booms and everything else, or we can say we only want to see this fuselage group, so we show only, and now only the fuselage group is shown. If we want to do that for one more step and only show the seats, we can do that. We can zoom in, look at the detail on the seats, adjust what we need to, and select all show everything and then fit to window. Now another way to visualize these models is to change the surface representation. So if we go from wireframe to hidden, you can see that hidden is actually just a wireframe with a non-transparency to it. So each of the cells that you can see here are filled with white. So you still maintain a three-dimensional surface of your model, but you can still see the cross-section and wireframe information throughout the model. And that's handy for identifying problem areas or for um, showing the wireframe on a model for document without having all the clutter in the background. What we can also do is apply a shade. Now shade takes a solid color and wraps the surface and applies lighting effects to it. And that can be a solid color or as you can see here with the propellers and the fuselage it can actually be transparent. In the material section of the general tab of any solid component you can change these colors of these materials anything that's labeled as glass has a semi-transparency to it which you can modify here in the custom and then material edit window you can change the alpha all the way up to one or bring it down to zero to make it completely transparent additionally you can change the color of the glass to be whatever you like. For right now we'll just leave it alone. But having a glass component is useful for being able to visualize these internals while you have a shaded rendering of everything else. So if you want to have a motor and show all the bearings and flywheels and everything else, you can make the external case of the motor transparent and you can show all the internal components. Um, texture is a feature that allows you to put stickers and labels uh, on the vehicle. You can also apply um, skins and, and renderings and things like that, but we'll cover that more in detail in a later video. Another viewing feature that we have available to us is None. Now None is a bit of a misnomer. What it actually means is display no surfaces and only display feature lines. Um, by default, all the components that you can see visibly have feature lines included. If we select everything and turn off feature lines, you can see it hides everything. So what we actually want to do is turn those feature lines back on. And you can see if you move the model around here that the feature lines allow you to still get a feel for the three-dimensional nature of the model without having all of the additional cross-section clutter uh, included in the model. Now this is particularly useful if we just go in here and only show the fuselage <clears throat> and jump to a left view. You can use these mold lines for the top and bottom surface and also for the uh, right and left surface to do a, uh, a mold line representation of a three view drawing. So if we change the background to the three view for this model and see if we can get the zoom just right. Well, that's close enough for demonstration purposes. You can see that if you use just the mold line here, you can adjust the cross sections and the skinning and the shape to get this mold line to very accurately match the shape of the fuselage in the model. And then as you've completed this one, you can move on to a different component and a different component. And when you're
you're done adjusting the feature lines of everything, you can go in and change the uh, detail features. So for right now, let's select all, show, and put it in wire. So thanks for tuning in to the geometry video. Our next video section is going to cover basic components. So we're going to start off with the blank and move on to the wing, the fuselage, and the pod. And we're going to describe how each of these components are used inside VSP. Uh, hope everybody tunes in. Thanks for watching.